Hi, and today we're going to talk about form building. At this point, all we were discussing was about perspective systems, particularly rectilinear. We could think of them as 3D space for our objects, but what about drawing objects or geometry itself? Let's take a look. We'll start from basic methods and at the end of this lesson we will try to use them in drawing. Here's a few things we could start with. First is multiply. Dividing. Mirroring. And drawing curves. Well, multiplying and dividing uh, really relates to each other. Uh, basically, it's the same thing. Let's imagine that we have horizon line and we want to draw a wall. We have uh, our vanishing point. It's here, vanishing point. And wall just goes to the vanishing point. Now, we want to divide this wall and already we know how to divide it uh, by halves. But um, what, if, what if we need uh, to divide it uh, by uneven, odd, odd number, or uh, we want to divide it uh, with some pattern that it's not repeatable? Well, we could, do, we could draw just, uh, just a line out of perspective that is not foreshortened and connect this point to this point the end of our wall and if we connect it and uh, extend it to the horizon line we'll find new vanishing point. Now we could divide our line that is out of perspective into any uh, number of pieces or into any pattern and just connect uh, with straight lines to the common vanishing point because these lines are parallel in perspective. So uh, this gives us equally thirds in perspective and we could use it for, let's say, you could have a blueprint here, any kind of blueprint and just any design you could connect and you could find your design on a wall. Okay, uh, so multiplying it's basically the same thing. Uh, thing you could uh, extend this part and connect to the vanishing point. Okay, this is your uh, fourth one. Mirroring. Let's imagine that we have a plane here, and it could be very foreshortened. We could find center with with uh, diagonals, and let's say I want to draw freehand or uh, draw curves uh, using um, some points. Let's say here's some point, here's some point, here one, and maybe here. Just smoothly connect these points, imagining that this kind of busier curves in Photoshop, but only you're drawing it freehand. Okay, and now we want to mirror it in perspective. We could use two, uh, basically two types of constructions. One type it's when we're using rectangle and we just uh, have to find center of that rectangle, go through the center here and you got your copy or mirror in perspective. The second thing is we could use just triangles. Why triangles? When we draw some diagonal, go into perspective and close it, we have, we have three points. Um, and we could use this triangle, uh, for example, if we have some point, we draw a triangle through the point 
and we could find the same point on the other half. Okay, let's try this on the curve. This point is pretty easy, it's already on a diagonal, we just have to draw a line going in perspective, and this is our first, uh, first point. Second point is here, it's common, and um, okay, this point is just uh, touching our rectangle, it's going in perspective, it's pretty easy. This one, we could use our rectangle construction method. Just go up, go, th go through the center, like this, and this is our point mirrored in perspective. This point, it don't touch uh, any corner or any diagonal already, so we could use our triangle method. We go from here, because it's common point, we go uh, through uh, our uh, point that we want to mirror, go to the border of our rectangle, we go from here to here, from here to here, and from here to here. This is our point. And now we could just uh, freehand sketch out sketch out our curve. More points you have, more precise it would be, but uh, more time you would spend. And sometimes it's not so necessary, so you could choose for yourself. Okay. And this is uh, this could be section for something. So it could add some thickness to it. Okay, I think you get the idea. Okay, now we could go straight to the business of building forms. First, uh, it's gonna be outside in and inside out. Outside in, you also uh, could call it bounding box. because uh, in 3D it's really uh, called bounding box. Inside out you could call it X, Y, Z section drawing. Okay, outside in. You're basically uh, starting with a block of wood. Imagine that this is block of wood. And you're just carving everything out. So you start with block of wood. And I'm just doing it freehand now. Uh, you could carve, let's say, this part. And you could, uh, you have a curve. If you want to be precise, you could mirror it. We already know how to do that. So you have your curve. Maybe I want to cut it here. Same thing. Just mirror it and connect the dots. Always drawing through. Maybe you want to, <clears throat> uh, for some reason, cut it here. Okay, or even let's say, cut it here. Always drawing through to know your design. Okay, basically we start with block of wood and carving everything out. Inside out method or XYZ section uh, drawing method it's based on idea that you have, you could start with inside with some 2D planes. Okay, this was block of wood 
and this would be paper. And you have y, x, and z axis. This is your x, this is your y. Uh, and basically, this is your side view. Let's say it would be just simple curved side view. This is your center line of the form. And this is your top view. Let's make it something like this. And uh, you could have also some front view. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're just estimating and mirroring top view, finding some points. I'm just eyeballing it now. Okay. And now we want to start um, drawing sections. We take information from top view and side view, combine it with perspective and find our sections. Maybe one more section. You could uh, make curved sections and very quickly draw and design uh, very organic forms. Okay, now we have to mirror it. And you already start to see that we have good basis for our form. It's sort of um, paper cuts or aluminum wires for your boat, let's say. Okay, now we could find our contour or silhouette, you could call it. And we have pretty complex 3D form drawn just freehand. Okay, just to review, outside in it's like block of wood and inside out it's like paper. Well, it's all for today. If you are interested, please subscribe, any questions in the comments and thank you. Bye!